everybody is on site. Once again, I'm Ra Ali. And I'm Richard Lomax. I'm Millie, baby. And we have the baddest bitch. The Puerto Rican princess in the building. Right. In 99 Jams. What? Right. What's your name? Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. And what's your name, sis? Because I don't know if we... What's your name? Don't do it. Tell them who you are, baby. Jerocelyn Jovan, a.k.a. Jerocelyn Diva, a.k.a. the managing editor, the vision behind On Sight. <laughs> Say vision. All that. You can never give these hoes a mic. You can turn off her mic. You can't give these hoes. <laughs> Don't give her a mic. Marlo Hampton, thank you so much for being with us, my Aquarius sister. I know, I know. Say say what's up to everybody. We are on. This is an actual radio show. This is not a podcast. We've been playing music all. Say hello to everybody, baby. Hey, Marlo. Hey. We're in Miami and Atlanta. We're going to keep it real and have fun tonight. That's right. Woo! We got a live audience. Woo! Well, we, we are happy. We are happy to have you, Marlo, because Marlo is a she is a fashion icon, yeah. and she is a reality icon, and she is a beautiful girl. Like, look at her. You trying to take my job, <laughs> Richard? Richard? Hey, Richard? <laughs> no, do your thing. Richard is struggling. He's drowning. So what's happening is that because the, sh the light is not on him, right. he doesn't know what to do with his soul. So he's like, hey, hey, you bald headed. Hey! Hey! Hey, he's screaming in the back. So please say hello to Richard Lomax, please, darling. Richard, where are you? I'm Marla. Finally. please say hello and stop being quiet. I'm so southern and polite. Marlo, what you got in that closet for me, bitch? I know you got some. <laughs> Okay, let me know about the free shit. <laughs> have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of Mob Radio? Okay, Mob Radio is on YouTube. Millie is a personality. Um, she's a big YouTuber. You know that's a world in itself. Even a lot of us are not familiar with certain people on YouTube, but she's one of those people to know on Mob Radio, and she gets into it. So she's wonderful. Yes, and she does like the messy Mondays and stuff like that for on site. So, okay, so um, a lot of things happen this season. Um, I have to say, Housewives of Atlanta is one of my. It's, it's really one of my. It's my favorite franchise in itself, but it's my favorite because I feel like um, no matter what you guys go through, you you show um, you show black women in an opulent light. You know, one's sleeping on one's couch. No one's renting an apartment to shoot. <laughs> okay. What? No. There are fabulous, honey. Oh, really? I didn't know that. See, I didn't know y'all did a good job. You know, whoever did it, I know you didn't do it, but whoever did it did a great job because it just doesn't come off that way. I really like that. You know what I'm saying? Because there are successful black women out here that are doing their thing, that have their properties, that have their cars, and they're not just stunting for the gram. They really live in, you know? And I really respect that and appreciate that. So tell me, what would you say was the, the one thing this season that you felt was completely... You felt misrepresented. You didn't get an opportunity to show your true story because of editing, because of scene changes. What was the one scene this season that you would say, if I could fix that or edit it out, I would do it? You know what, to be honest with you, this season was amazing for me. Really? The first season, I got along with all the girls. I was just in a good place. It was the first year with you guys being my nephews. You know, I just got to sit them like almost a year oh, now. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you, really? baby. So last year, I would never have thought I'd be where I'm at today. Like last year, I lost my little brother. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Mother, and I gave my two nephews. So, so last year was a year that showed me how strong I really was. And I was like, God, what is going on? But I'm like, you know, you have to make any mistakes, right? You took custody of both of your nephews? Both of my nephews. They're my sister has my kids, and these are our last two. Okay. So where's, where's your sister at? My sister just left from here and moved to Memphis. Okay. Okay. Just, you know, just she's dealing with herself and trying to get herself. It takes a village. And she yeah. It takes a village anyways. I wish my sister would take money for a year. <laughs> 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 it's a joke, but 
Uh, it really, if she got nine kids, she needs the help. And I'm just happy for her that she has you to help her out. Because some family members don't like to help. Mm-hmm. That's a lot, though. That's amazing to take custody. How old are your nephews? <laughs> They're 12, 11, and 12. Wow, and that's the expensive age. That's when okay. they really cost. And they're a man, too. Yeah. She has boys. Cindy, do you have any kids? No. No children. Millie has two. Yeah. I have a nephew. <laughs> so. <laughs> Marlo has two nephews. Those are not her children. But she took custody of them. Well, well they're her shit. kids now. Yeah. They're her kids. She My took custody. was there. <laughs> he begs. <laughs> you have wow. 16? Their mom has nine. My little sister has four. My other sister has three. Wow. I love that. Me and my brother. My brother just passed. He doesn't have any. Then I don't have any. No. Well, now you got two, honey. Oh, tell me about it. All right, so we all... What about your love life? We want to know about your love life. Uh, shit, I want to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so you're beautiful, think, though. Are you thinking Jocelyn or, or, or oh. open and interested in Will? <laughs> I will have you as a girlfriend. No. <laughs> you don't like a little. <laughs> you know what, Marlo? We were having this. <laughs> Wait, I can't. I can't. <laughs> we. Oh my god! She said if she was with a woman, she would have to be a bottom. So before oh. we got you on the line, right? We were having this this really oh. hot debate about threesomes and relationships and marriages and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know you're not going to come on here and probably reveal anything. However, if you can say, speak to your past, have you ever had a threesome or been willing to have a girlfriend situation in your relationship? Because you f***ing some rich so. Never? I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida, from Tampa, so you know they're going to come out the world worse if I did, if I was lying. So St. P, Tampa, Atlanta, I've never had a threesome with no Me either. <laughs> I'm very selfish, and maybe that's, and I'm kind of, I'm very protective about mine, so maybe that's why I'm single. <laughs> oh. But um, no, I'm good. You know what I, what I love in a relationship? You have to mentally talk to me. My nephews are down upstairs. Mentally, you have to get here with me because I'm so headstrong and I left home at 10, five different foster homes. Wow. I'm like, you know, the streets raise me. And you cannot home. tell. I'm old school, so a woman, if you can't do nothing, you can look good. Me and my girlfriends can sleep in the bed together, we walk around, we show bodies. Like, bitch, I look good, I look right up. Mm-hmm. But I don't want no woman. We go to too much minstrels, this, that. I, I, it don't work for me. And the men, they just can't make themselves, self, but it is what it is, you know. Right. <laughs> I, just, I never have. That's what's crazy. But you ain't she had the right woman. Is that it? Jocelyn, I think that those is women that are it? it. <laughs> Jocelyn, that, have you rethinking this thing? You ain't had the right woman. What? <laughs> No, right. no, Richard said you ain't had the right one yet to make you really rethink that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Marlo. I, you know I'm a married woman, so it's not like I'm, like, you know. Thank you, man. I'm not like, you know, like, I love women, of course, but I understand what you're saying as far as, like, you're so strong and you're the man. Just because I like to hump a little pussy doesn't mean that I'm, you know, like, doesn't mean that I want to marry a woman. So, like, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, you need a strong man in your life to be in a relationship with. Like, you can't be in a relationship with a woman because you're so strong. Like, you need a man, right? <laughs> well, you've been in relationships before for a while, though. You've been in relationships. Yeah. The queen of this house, you need to open the door for me. You need to come in here from school and ask, how was my day? How am I doing? Hold on one second, Marlo. We'll do Do me one second. So you basically, when your nephews came in, you are teaching, you're raising men. You're letting them know, I'm the queen. When you see a woman, 
You open the, door, the door for her. You do this. You're teaching her those things, which is important. So how long have you been How long have you been single? I was dating a guy, I think back when I last saw you, when you took us to the Mac event, remember, for Nikki? Yeah. Took me there. Yeah. That's been, what, how long ago? That's been that was about three, four, three years ago, yeah. maybe? But I've been single at least, yeah, at least three, four years ago. Okay, so not by choice, cause she can have. Yeah, that's by choice. I mean, I I mean it's by choice, cause she could have anybody she wants. But you know what? I just can't put up with the BS, Jocelyn. Everybody's can't. saying that, right? I Everyone's complaining about. I have a strong personality, so I do need you, baby, to get my ass together sometimes, but in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be too soft, cause then I'm gonna run over you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want you to come in here, and I want to make sure. My nephews are looking up to a man. Mm -hmm. You have to have a balance. They have you have to find a person with a balance to deal with a for a man to be able to make you happy. Cause you're you, you got your own stuff going on. You're taking care of your own bills. You are raising some grown ass men, strong. So you need somebody that's got balance that can really like just be as balanced as you are. They're I saying think that's that how you it sound works. that you sound far away when you're talking. That's because you're not talking into the mic. And 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 and, and if you are on speaker, so this is my position as good as it can be. Are you paying so, attention? Yeah, I love so, that. So Aquarius, she knows. Yes, <laughs> I saw you were on a show and you were saying how there's a misconception, and I know all about misconceptions of how people feel like you're living um, off of these rich white men, and that. Yeah. Had no truth to it, but it carried on for so many years, mostly because I feel like you just was like, I have no interest in correcting these lies. I don't. So yeah, people are gonna talk no matter what. They're gonna make up no matter what. I dated one white guy. One white, Marlo dated one white man, and it turned into she only date white men. <laughs> I felt like it was a coincidence. He just happened to be the white. The microphone is right there. So he when just you happened talk, to be white, and he just happened to be rich. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's what you happen to be. As long as he's a man. I'm like, if I had all these white men, y'all wouldn't be seeing me on a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, I would be setting sail right now, darling. Right. We know the hell that's the truth. We know that's the truth. She would be somewhere fabulous with her fabulous self. Right. Doing her fabulous thing. Right <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on right now? What can we expect to see? I know that you guys are getting ready to start filming again. But what can we expect from Marlo Hampton? Uh, you're going to always, the most important thing is just me. So what I'm working on right now, and what you're going to see, you're going to see more of Marlo. I think over the, you always see me just be real, say what's on my mind, unfiltered. Mm -hmm. But you get to see me with my nephews. You get to see me vent more. You get to see me have relationships with all the girls. And just, you just really get to see a softer side of me, me letting the wall down. Because I'm usually the girl... I put a wall up, but the way I was raised, I have to. Right. So this year it's like, wall is down, let the world see you, let the world just really get in and see not the heels, not the purses, not the clothes, just I cry like you. I, you know, I'm human. Right. And I think sometimes your fans put you on this pedestal to where she's fabulous, she's this, thank you, but... I'm still a girl. Sometimes I need a hug. I need you to call and check on me sometimes. Hell yeah. Shit. All the fucking time. Yeah. Well, me, that's how I feel too. Right. Right. That's an Aquarius thing. And it's, and it's not fair for us. Strong ladies that we, like people always think like, oh, they don't need, would they, they Okay. Bad for you when people when people you know? to you, they don't feel bad for you because they're like, oh, she don't care about that. She's tough, and you typically don't. You just keep it moving, but they don't have any empathy for anything you go through because well, they just do like. How you feel about that though? About me? You are very strong. Yeah, well, I don't. At least it comes off. The no, head I, I am a strong person, and I, but I lean on you. I noticed than... that it wasn't really until on site that people started to be defensive of me because they didn't have a real grasp of who I was. Oh, you are. Right. So they wouldn't let anybody attack me and say anything because they didn't feel like they really knew who I was. But since on site... Not no more, I, huh? No, not like that I anymore. I mean, you red-handed me. I was... ...in the fight. Yeah. But you got me now. I told my nephews I got tested them. Have people seen a different side of me? Hear me on the phone talking to my mom, cursing me out. Yeah. Everybody begging every 20 minutes for some money. Or right. Just, you just, you don't know. I know they ask you for money every week because you dress 
so nice. They're like, well, buy one less pair of shoes and send me this fourteen hundred dollars. I know they said no. That makes me feel good. Let me feel good. Right. I had a Who, if it makes me feel good, I'm doing That's what you're gonna do. So you're 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 not a problematic person. I appreciate you. I like you a lot, Marlo, for real. But, oh, but I need you. you to tell me who is your least favorite person on Housewives of Atlanta? Your least favorite. Oh, that's <laughs> Easy Kenya. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but why? I, why don't you like her though? You know what? I thought I would like her because she was an Aquarius. But to really, this is going so deep and so far back. But you know, I'm a realist. Long story short, when me and Nini fell out years ago, remember that? Mm -hmm. When we fell out years ago, Kenya uh, befriended me just to get to Nini. So mm -hmm. her and I went to Pearl on Peter Street years ago, sat in the car, called the, uh, Nini's ex friend guy. She was telling me stuff to say to him. And it just pissed me off because when me and Nini reunited, we kept it real. Because she was like, hey, sis, I was mad at you because they said you got me fired. I was mad. I did do this. I'm wrong. I just admitted everything what well, Kenya did, and Kenya to this day won't admit it. So I'm like, I can't deal with you, girl. You're a liar. Mm. So then, as the time has went on, Kenya, her energy, you know what I mean? You've been around somebody, energy ain't right. And I get intuition from people. Kenya is so broken. She's hurt like all of us have been hurt. And I'm like, Kenya, it's a different it's energy. A different it's like, it's evil. It's, it's evil and it's scary. Really? Like, like, Girl, I mean, you giving right us right the tea, right honey. Right <laughs> right now, I feel sorry for her. I wish that on no one. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you watched the episode Sunday, I went over and I, you know, just was there for rubbing on it. I can't even believe I did that. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want her to hurt like that. I felt her pain. Well, why was she, why was she hurt? Because her husband is just so rude to her. And, and really? Oh my God, it's so awful. Jocelyn don't really be knowing what is going on with a lot of stuff. She really be in her no, own no, world. That's the truth. You don't be no, paying attention to stuff. I swear I'm the same though. Yeah. I'm, I'm too busy filming Jocelyn's cabaret. I ain't got time no, to be no. knowing what the, but it's some good tea. I did not know that. I, Me personally, I like, I, I like all of you girls, right? On the show. Like, I like all of you girls on the show. Uh, my favorite. It's me. I already know that. <laughs> you are, you are, you are one of no. Honestly, you are one of my favorites. You and you know what? Phaedra used to be my favorite when she was on the show. Shout out to Phaedra. Yeah, oh, Shay, Phaedra used to be my favorite when she was on the show. But I really like you. I like. I I, I feel like you deserve a peach. Uh, I did Who's not. Your favorite. Who's your favorite on the show? My favorite on the show. It has to be Nini because Nini, when she do read, she just be she funny as shit, dog. That fool is crazy. She gonna say whatever's on her mind. She is. I mean, I don't want anyone not to have a check. Where I'm from, we don't want that. I feel everyone adds something. That Kenya is great TV. Nini is amazing TV. I mean, everyone, you know. Can what about the new girl that be performing with her husband? What's her name? She's gone now. You mean, um. Ronnie, what was her name? Uh, God damn it, what was her name? What's her name? Sh Shamia. Oh, she's not on there anymore. Shamar, she's gone. Okay. She's just a one hit one. Like, well, you know what? Oh, oh no. bitch. <laughs> what about that other girl? Her name starts with a T. I think she's friends with Portia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's from Canada. She's just a different twist to the show, but it's, a, it's refreshing. Okay. It's something none of us are used to. She's a straight Canadian. Her and Portia are having a good time right now. She's She's what they doing? Right <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I, they, she said her and Portia doing that. I don't know what the hell her and Portia doing. <laughs> I wanted to ask more little questions. Yeah, Marlo. Marlo, I act more gay than I am, for real, for real. <laughs> Billy was going to ask you something. Marlo, I want to ask you a question. You know, you've fallen yes. out with Nene before at the baseball field, and you had to go up on her ass. And now y'all are back, you know, friends and whatnot. Y'all Nene... tried to befriend me and pretend to be my friend. Okay. So Nene um, recently came out and spoke about her husband, Greg, speaking to one of the employees in an inappropriate way. Okay. okay. She did, girl. She went online and said that she found out in a meeting that her husband had been talking to uh, one of the employees. Are you one of the friends that she can call? Have y'all rekindled the relationship enough for her to be able to call you and you console she her and be there for her? Me. She called me right when it happened. 
Mm. I'm happy to hear that, Marlo, because y'all done been through it. I'm yeah. glad that y'all have gotten through yeah. those and stages our and our friends because I love both of y'all. Y'all are so outspoken. Y'all are so strong. And y'all be letting them bitches have this. That's right. And you know what? That's the thing about it. both of us being so strong and outspoken. It's like, y'all aren't going to make it. You're not this. No you always come back when, around. Real Housewives of Atlanta is like eating baby. Because yeah. you started it, you know, from day one. So no matter what comes our way, I'm just at the point of my life. I look at you like, girl, stop. We good. It ain't like, I get it now. You feel right. me? I'm happy to hear that, Marlo. Too much for some BS to come in between. Because mm -hmm. some people just let the reality and the social media take over. It's like, hey, where's the substance? Where's the true friendship? Right. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Yeah. I get that. So once you let me know you don't care about my real friendship, my true friendship, it's like, okay, Right. Bye. Well, what about? Oh, I love Nene and you too. But what about you and Sheree? Oh, no, Sheree good people too. I, 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 too. I absolutely adore Sheree, like but your relationships is is comfortable. Oh yeah, we're great. When well, I see Sheree, we keep keep taking. Shout out Sheree, baby. Right. Shout out Sheree, baby. Not shout out Sheree. I have a baby. Oh, wait, Chateau Sheree is done, baby. It's up and running, baby. Is it still up and running? Oh, it's up and running, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, she paid for that thing. Gash, don't play with her, baby. It ain't how long it take you, it's that you got this shit done. Yeah, hello. And she, have a, she has a beautiful house, just like yourself do too. I mean, all of you girls have beautiful homes, but Chateau Sheree, she took her time, but when, you, when she put them cameras in that mm. bitch, that house is draping. Shout out to Sheree, it's draping. Mm. <laughs> Has anybody been by the the the, 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 the chateau recently? Uh, uh, I haven't no, been by the chateau recently. No, I'm asking. I've never been to the chateau. No, I'm asking because, <laughs> no, have you been there recently? I'm asking because you know how Sheree is. She probably done made changes. She probably done did even more stuff. So you I'm wondering, like, what for an update on it, we can't. If it's she, still there. Right. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm actually not. Messy. I'm, I'm really not. She always posts on her house. So if it was she still not got there, it. you would know because you're right around the corner. So Chateau Sheree is. But, yeah, but can I tell you something though, Marlo? The, the hickiest time that I had watching the show was when when Chateau Sheree and Miss Kenya Moore was both building at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! I mean, that was they gold. I mean, when I tell you, that was the <laughs> most funniest shit I've seen in my hilarious. life. Cause like, I could not believe two women were fighting about who was going to build the house first. Like, it totally doesn't fucking matter who builds the house first. Like to me, it was just like they're so fucking catty. Uh, but if I had to choose between the house that I like the most, I would say Chateau Chere. Mm. Yeah. And, 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 and don't get me wrong, Kenya house is cute too. I love Kenya house is more of a floor style. Yeah, it's more modern. Mm -hmm. See, I love modern. And and Sheree's is more like extravagant, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it uh you want to ask? I have a question. Hi Marlo, I'm Jerazlyn, the managing editor of on site. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. So now I want to make sure you see me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to white. Okay. okay so, Nini, um, an interview Nini just did just came out today where she insinuated that Eva possibly used her relationship. Are there, I mean, it, commenting on that, and in addition to other housewives, do you feel there are housewives that used other housewives to get on the show? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're going to go for whoever you think is popping, who has more longevity, and you're going to, you know, do what you got to do to get in there, get a feel of it, and then you're going to let your true color show. Mm -hmm. I totally agree that women do that all the time. Mm -hmm. But wait, to add on to that, are we saying get on as far as cause more drama to get a scene in, to keep yeah, your position? Absolutely. Get okay. On, okay. And think about it. You're going to get on, and you're going to always try to argue with whoever you think is the most popular. So you know that's Right. Well, you are you are hot, Mar Marlo. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. I respect you. We all love you. Keep going. Oh, you you're just getting started, and we know that you are Aquarius. You're strong, and I'm so people that aren't Aquarius, they're like, oh please. But it's real. It's solid. Keep it's doing so your thing, and God is going to bless you for bringing in your nephews 
taking in that's a huge responsibility and i'm happy that they'll be able to see that nurture inside of you that mom side of you okay thank you for being a real one and although Everybody we have not seen Marlo. each other in years um you are available you scheduled to do on site and i always say this to y'all i do not forget anything mm -hmm. you real with me is to the death so i appreciate you okay and I appreciate you also, Jigga. I'm proud of you for doing your thing also. Thank and you. This is just the beginning. Thank you. You got you got a stand up ovation over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, babe. Thank sure you. Make sure you follow on site. It's I T S. Underscore. Underscore. O N S I T E. I'm serious. It's good, girl. I'm not just saying I'm that. Gonna follow you. Love okay. You. I love you. Bye. I'm gonna hit you when I get there. Call me, Ra. I love you. Okay. I'm gonna get your number from Ra, and so we can hang out when you come. Get it. And she right. definitely gonna have you turned up. So be ready. Oh yeah, good. Good night's sleep. To get to get ready to get drunk when you get here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, Marla, 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 I love Marla. this girl so much. You're so dope. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Jocelyn, you're great as a co-host as yeah. well. I have this. This is yeah. so crazy. I think I'm a producer. Um, you're wonderful. You Jocelyn has to go and, and, and Ballistic has to go, but you're really good. And I think you should, should consider getting on radio as well. Because for you to sit down good, yeah. and be able to turn an mm -hmm. interview where you're being interviewed mm -hmm. and start interviewing other people and drag things out of them, <laughs> that is a talent. And I think you should pursue that. Y'all have each other's information, obviously. You've already been on her show, but maybe you can help her come on and do get a show on 99. But you know, I'm just like, I'm all about hanging out with my girlfriends and having fun with you guys. So, like, you know, for me, I just love to sit down and talk shit and ask questions. Well, you can get and a I mean, check too, I totally you know want to, I totally want to know what the fuck is going on, though. Right. Like, you know, it, when it's juicy, I want to know. But, um, you know, I'm just so busy filming. First of all, Josh and this guy already got. Don't say no yet. Say Sunday. Let's just well, say. You know, I, I do. I do like to. Uh, I, they talked about. They talked to me about doing a couple of talk shows. Um, cause I did. You know, I did the real mm -hmm. a few times. They and let I'm, you on the real. On the real. I'm thinking about the view. Oh, the real, I was yeah. about to be like, now what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did the real a couple of times. So you like, would be good on there. You'd yeah. So great. I'm like, but here's the thing, though. I'm so super busy with my passion project that I just have to. I feel like all ladies and everybody should stick to their passion. Yeah. You know, grow as an artist if, yeah. when you when you really focus on what it is that you like to do. Uh, that's why we. That's why you got this. Um, that's why she's doing her show that she's been doing. That I wanted to do for years. So I think that if everybody sticks to what they want to do, I think people just grow that way. Yeah. And help each other out as we're doing, you know, and just have a good time while 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 you do it. Right. You know, I think that that's just the best thing to do. I agree. You know? Yeah. But I would definitely come on site anytime that y'all need yes, me. Yes, we love I would that. Make it, but you guys gotta do this earlier so then I don't have to run off and go get money. You guys gotta like have like, money. You guys gotta stop this at seven when I arrive. But Bonnie will be here looking at us like this. Mom, that one frozen. <laughs> Well, she thank was. you for being here. What we're gonna do is because we didn't get to go through any of the topics, we're gonna just do the second part of the show because we'll have it. And more than likely, after next week, we're gonna be on a hiatus until season two. So I'm like, why? Because we go, we we're moving into season two now. This is show 24. So after show 25, <laughs> we're gonna be going to season two. So you know, this is amazing. Yes, it's so wonderful. And um, so we'll take a little break and then we'll come back for season two. It'll probably be like a two week break. I'm sure I'll be out here. Oh, I'm coming for season two. That's I should, right. I should oh, definitely God. open up season two. Yes. You should, yes. right? Yes. Wait. I should okay. open up. And we shouldn't even be there. We should just have yeah, like, do it. Yeah, let me do everything. All the segments. I take all the questions. I interview everyone. You, know. okay. you guys could just be the work in the background. Oh. Oh. No, but hey, we never did an interview with you two. When did you guys start connecting? Me and Ron? Yeah. We always connected. We never ran into each other right. in the industry, 
But like we never have beef either. Yeah, we would see each other at functions, like and we would speak at all the day parties at that all the have. love and hip hop parties. We yeah, saw each other. And so we would see each other like hi, yeah. whatever. And, and I say that to say this. Oh God, Ra Ali <laughs> is very well connected. Yeah. Don't yeah. ever think in your life that she's connected to another person. These right. are all her connections. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With me, yeah. with me and her, yeah. And but yep. first of all, I started following the onsite page. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not knowing oh, that. Oh, she didn't know. Yeah, when I, I didn't called her. I was like, "Hey, so can you do onsite?" She was like, "Onsite, yeah." Um, she was like, "That's you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I follow the page. I follow the page, and I just like the content, and I follow the page, and then I, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was you." So it was kind of like, <laughs> but, but her and I never really like we really never ran into each other, but we never had beef with each other. No. So. It was like when I found out it was her page, I was like, yeah, I come through. Like, of Absolutely. course I would That's come through. That's what they all say. Yeah. Say. That's what they yeah. All say. yeah. I ain't coming through for none of ah. that. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Wait. Ah. Wait. 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 Every night. <laughs> and it's so good, so come on, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Thank you, Kiss Bonnie, for me, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, oh, my God. I had such a good time. Thank you Same. for having me. Thank, Thank you for having me. Can you put a music on? Thank you so much. The chat is going crazy. Look at everybody in the chat. Whoever is Mob LA, I want to give a shout out to y'all because this person, I never saw this person before, Mob LA. And they are putting the website and the subscribe to the YouTube <laughs> every five seconds. Everybody, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Like every time I look, I see it. I okay. see it. Can you put some music favor? on? And we're gonna come back. Hey, everybody. <laughs> what a fucking show, honey. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is on site. Huh. I don't even remember which episode it is anymore. The 24th episode. <laughs> the 24th episode. <laughs> and this is the this is the fourth hour. <laughs> um sometimes I get in the booking and I'm scheduling like the talent because for the, I do that every week myself. Hmm. Hmm. I, I reach out to whoever the person is that I want to have on the show and I schedule them. And sometimes I, I love having like two people. It keeps it exciting. And then we always want to talk about whatever's going on in the media. So we have all of the hot topics and the mm-hmm. gossip to get into. And so it just got real heavy today. It got really <laughs> heavy today. It got really, it was fun though. So thank God we have an amazing editor so that when this goes up, Shakira. It'll look good. Shakira, you gonna, <laughs> Shakira says, like, I don't know if you listening, girl, but girl, you're going to be too through when you get all this content, honey. Um, so we're going to talk about the topics and jump right into it. Um, Jocelyn, shout out to Jocelyn yes. for being here with us. Shout she was an Jocelyn. amazing um, guest. Yes. She was definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, and no. she was all up in my personal business. That's good. It. And that was right? crazy. I love it. Um, yeah, it was dope. Because you always getting in everybody else. Right. Like, yep. to your, trying to yep. hold her as a secret. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no, not a secret. Just nobody really asks me. No, oh, no. Um, why did I sit him next to me and say, Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at your business. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah. Shout out to Marlo. <laughs> she was phenomenal. Love I Marlo. feel like she was a great representation of like, just being like a, the, a, a strong black woman as an underdog. Like yes. when she gets what she deserves, hmm. we're gonna all be so happy for her Absolutely because she for she stayed down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I really like her a lot. I just want I really purse. like Jocelyn a lot. And those are really two dope females that are like non-judgmental oh, mm-hmm. and understand. And but I, I also like them. misrepresented and yes. misunderstood. Yeah. Yeah. Misunderstood. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's jump right into the, the first topic. I got Richard Lomax to my right. Right mm. next to Richard Lomax, I got the amazing Malago Grams, also known yes. as Millie, also known as Mia, girl. also known as Big Nino. <laughs> Big Nino, <yeah. laughs> Big Dot. Yeah. Oh, Millie told me shit. Big Dot. Will y'all hear me say that? I learned that from her. Yes. And we also have my senior editor. Mm. Um, okay. Jocelyn, what's no. her name? Call <laughs> <laughs> oh, JJ. Jocelyn Johnson, also known as Jocelyn Diva. Yes. 
Um, <laughs> yes. So if you see any errors or anything on the on-site page, who you on blame? It's her fault. It really be her, y'all. It do. Um, right behind me, I have Eliza Rain. We are not yes. interviewing her today. She is just here for eye candy. Okay. <laughs> she's just going to throw in a couple jokes here and there. You know oh. she's real funny. <laughs> and I have 99 Jams, uh, Super Cindy. <laughs> Super Cindy. In the building, mm -hmm. as well as Chris Summers. If you guys have not followed her, make sure you get to it. <laughs> her name is Mad Gal Chris because she is gorgeous, but she's also a fighter. Hmm. She's oh one. Of, she's Gosh. one of my. She's oh one of my. Why? She's one of my pretty goons. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if you see her, if you see her pull up, and we got a problem, uh -uh. get your way. for me. <laughs> she's actually one of the females that I know that got the prettiest mugshot. You should see her last oh, mugshot. Oh, she's one of those. We gotta put what? that up on the <laughs> jailbait. Jail Bay! That's me. All right, so listen to this. Uh -uh. We talked. We talked. Cindy gonna be like, this whole stole all my topics. So we talked about. Uh -huh. We talked about. We talked about um, um, April Jones saying how she, when she's married, she's. Whenever she gets married, she's still single, mm -hmm. um, hmm. which was what? interesting because one of the topics we talked about that yesterday on Let's Pop Off. Mm -hmm. But one of the topics today is actually Amarion. Amarion says now I just want to let you guys know before I read this um, real fast. Mm -hmm. The only reason I don't have my cue cards because I am the I I love my cue cards and I like to read. All I the I agree. I like them you too. You can't read it. You no. can't think without your cue card. <laughs> no, I love my cue cards. I'm nothing without them. But. I actually didn't send the topics to my assistant in time. She asked me for them repeatedly, and I didn't send it to her. So she didn't have time Two to, days. Print, to print it. So that's the only reason I don't have them. Shout they out will, to Bree. Oh, okay. They will be making their return next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, don't think she didn't bring them right. this week. Cause, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, I, Fuck I, what you heard. It's not, it's not like that. I'll have them next week. So listen, Omarion says that traditional marriage is a business concept. Okay? He says... Now we all remember our Marion telling us that in <laughs> 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 but we have a teleprompter where you have the coins invested in your business. You have a teleprompter. Fuck a cue card. Don't don't do it. Finish reading. <laughs> You'll never read with you. Six, he has an icebox where his heart used to be. Right. And we're pretty sure that the latest with his ex April Jones only added another layer of ice to that unbothered heart of the R&B singer. Now recently, O sat down. Are these hoes talking? No, no. He sat down with Sway. He sat down with Sway in the morning and talked about not wanting to be married in the traditional sense. Okay. And whether or not monogamy is his thing. Now, Mario shared that he doesn't believe in the traditional concept of marriage. For him, finances are a major determining factor whether he doesn't want the possibility of his partner taking up taking half of what he's worked for mm -hmm. all because he didn't work out with them romantically so to sum that all up basically what he's saying is if the female that he ends up settling down with has her own coin then he would you know consider it because he doesn't want somebody to be able to take away half of his income mm. just because they didn't work out. Now they get to, you know, take his funds. That's what prenups are. That's what I was about to say. Right, right. Right. What that but, means if you're not dating a girl that's on your level, you won't get married. But he is from L.A. And mm -hmm. I think that it, the way it works is you get half no matter mm -hmm. what. Mm -hmm. So we talked about that yesterday. Um, he has a different reason um, than April. April's just like, listen, I might want to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to if I feel like it. He's more saying it's a business thing. I think. You um, tell I me, think. as a single black man that has never been in a serious relationship. <laughs> you, no. Don't touch me. You can't Don't keep listen a man. to that. What is it? How does it go, y'all? Richard can't what? Keep, keep a, a man. man. Right. But I think Marion's bisexual. Okay. Um, let's let's where's get the, Richard. No, 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 no. Where's the thing that we have to say when oh, Richard yes. says things? Richard is heady. does not speak for on-site Ra Ali or the brand. I'm just coming up with my own disclosure. No, no, no. Listen, Richard <laughs> Richard is not a representation of on-site. Anything that he says out of his mouth, you need to sue him directly because I can't... 
is not from me. Ain't nobody right. suing me. I said I, I think. I, keep I don't know this man. I think he's so bisexual. Go ahead, so go ahead I think he's me. bisexual. <laughs> April Jones just applied to have some children and to continue on with the lies. So you feel like she was his beard? I will. I do. I do. Okay. Because um, Chris Stokes oh. is the big story that went around. That Omarion was involved in the train, the lineup of the group members, and when they. Okay, so what I the think... The season assist, what's his email? <laughs> yeah, just Richard send it to R -I -C -H -A -R -D. him. R-I-C-H-A-R-D. Just send it Richard to Richard Lomax. Beauty. This is your show. Gmail. You made that very clear earlier. No. <laughs> 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 it says, sus, wake up, up says, you made that shit earlier. What he was going to say. Millie, what you think about that situation? You marry. I think that it's so disheartening for young black men with these beautiful children and... April ain't worth a damn as far as I'm concerned. So I wouldn't say that he would need to take up with her ass. But in terms of the idea that marriage can't be anything more than a business um, mm. scenario, I can understand his perspective. And I think that everybody needs to go into a marriage understanding it is a contract. You sign paperwork mm. and you have to lay these things out. That is a fact. I agree with that. But that's not all that it is. That's not all that it can be. Right. So it, it kind of hurts my feelings that a young black man who seems to be so centered and so aware um, feels that way about marriage, feels that way. And I hope that it ain't bitches like April that's to make him feel that way. I, I really hope not because she ain't worked out that well, Now, Cindy, you're married, right? No. You're engaged. She said that's no. You guys are in a just serious, committed relationship. Yes. Jeff is dope. Oh. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Jeff. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I just feel like... Oh, yeah, my... I just feel like I'm on Omarion's side. Like when you work so hard, like I've been in radio 15 plus years and I've busted my ass to keep my name clean and just everything that I've done to work hard. So like for me to have to split with someone because I'm married and then they get, they get bitter and whatever the situation I, I want what's mine is mine. So I'm good with not being married. I could live with someone forever if I have to. I don't need to be married, honestly. That's my if, view. If you end up, let's just say, because we don't know mm -hmm. anything about um, um, Cindy's fi man's financial situation. Up there. Let's just say he hit the lotto, right? Mm, it's mine. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? That shit is mine. I took him to the grocery store to buy the ticket. Not just kidding. Right. <laughs> so if he has the lotto for three hundred million, that's mm -hmm. like, you know, okay, all right now. And y'all don't work out romantically. Now, do you feel like the same way with yours was yours? If you want to walk away with your shit, he should walk away with, with his three hundred million. No, because he didn't work for that. He just bought a ticket and got lucky. He worked for it or not. <laughs> he bought a ticket and got lucky. Yeah. I just want to say, this is Jerosalyn, the managing editor of OnSite. <laughs> I just want to say that, one, we can see why April and Omarion didn't work out. They weren't meant to be. Two, I can only imagine, like you said, Omarion's from L.A. Also, he has been famous since he was, what, 14, 15, probably even younger. He was in commercials as a child. We can only imagine the type of girls he's encountered. I'm not sure if he ever encountered a, even had a genuine relationship to where he could have a genuine opinion of a marriage. And that's possibly why him and April didn't work and why he feels the way he feels. It would take him meeting a real chick with the patchouli oils with the Bantu mm -hmm. knots <laughs> to help him with the sage, sage him down. Oh, and I think that opinion will change real quick. Oh, he man. needs a real black queen. That's I what he agree. needs. I agree. Hello. Uh, yeah, another, okay. another, another race, another, you know, it, it could be any race, but as long as she's a queen and a strong He needs woman. a black queen. Or a king. Jocelyn I, and Ballista grow with Arab, so <laughs> maybe an Arab. <laughs> what you think? Um, I think that, um, that at least you're free. Let me think pass the mic. Go ahead. You would pass the mic to me. Like I I agree with um. What's your name? Jerusalem. I I honestly agree with her. Um, I mean I don't think April or whatever her name is was the one for him, but like he definitely needs a black queen like he just i don't know 
Uh, and, and, I, and I honestly agree. L.A. is a different type of vibe, though. L.A. L.A. is definitely a different type of vibe. L.A. He he needs to step outside the box. He needs to come to Florida, Miami. He needs to come. He needs to go to Atlanta. He needs to go to New York. But definitely L.A. He definitely needs to step out of the box. And but you, you know, never know, you never know who your black queen is if you don't go through your trial and errors, right? So mm. for right. him, I have nothing to say. To say Passing the mic, right? Because, back honey, him. I had to think about. <laughs> it. So like, if he didn't go through what he went through, he wouldn't know what a good girl is. Mm. And with his lifestyle, you gonna have girls that come in and out your life. Some that use you. Some that just want to be there for the money. Some that actually like, like you, you yeah. but that's you just something like you sign up for when you have that type of lifestyle okay. you know what I was going to say who's not to say that April came into this as a good girl and all the stuff she's seen with Omarion's history and all the things she's had she's been put through with him in the group not in the group unemployed employed all the shit he's probably put her through he probably and out. he probably turned her out and that's why she's so bitter and the way she is now that's true maybe so that he seems like be, it. Like, he may not be fucking Oops. her right. You never know. You don't know what they do in the bedroom. Mario's package size. Live audience, has anybody stuck with him? Mm. Or no one? <laughs> 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 yeah. Live. I just see what Mario. Um, what y'all talking about? I feel like with Mario, just watching him on Instagram, he's on a different level. He's on a spiritual level in April. Definitely. Is on his level. That level. Definitely. He's on a whole different vibration. So if she's down here, he's up here. The relationship isn't going to work. Or, he's wait, boys. or he might be into boys. Y'all, I'm not because. See, but April, you know, we all go through that little whole stage in our life, and she's just going through it right now. That long? So, nah. what's that long? That's a long ass whole thing. What a year? No, it's longer than a year. She has two kids by him. But who says she? Like, she probably all was been a whole yeah. At that point, so, so she could have been a really good, a good girl for years. So she going through her stage, honey. People don't give a damn, and that's just what it is. She living her life, and she's a free spirit. There are people who like that who just don't care. She specifically said, even when she's married, she will still be single, and that's okay. Because I think that's nah, her. She right. thinks that she does whatever she, she wants to do, and her mentality is different. It's just different. She, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, listen, because we can talk about Marion for a okay. long time. One thing that people do with that we're gonna get off of this topic, people do on social media. As soon as somebody says something that they agree with or something that they don't agree mm -hmm. with, they stick with that and they feel like they know that person. Y'all don't even know Omar y'all like that. Y'all just like the way he handled what happened with April. Y'all right. know what type of shit he got going on. Even he though he cute, cute and everything. He ain't my type. Y'all cute and he ain't not my type. He cute and And he then it. when y'all see that that's not what it is, y'all be real mad. And I want to cancel people. Mm -hmm. So the woman who rapper the baby slapped at the nightclub called Ooh. whiskey in tampa um this past night excuse me this past sunday night has been identified as tyronisha laws She's suing. Lost. Okay. Jesus. Now y'all know y'all so, know talk about her name. Wow. She's suing. I mean, I mean, she wow. Suing him. Clearly her That's father's name is Tyrone. They said they called the baby the settlement. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is the settlement, um, sis. Shout out to him. <laughs> Tyrone Nisha Laws. Y'all know she filed in the lawsuit. Okay. <laughs> Love told her. Tyrone Nisha lawsuit. <laughs> 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 She was the person that was hit after getting too close to the rapper and hitting him with her phone. Laws has already begun the process of seeking counsel. Wow. By obtaining attorney Matt Morgan. Now, we all saw the clip. We'll I know play. Matt. I know Matt. Because <laughs> you sue everybody. I'm going to sue you. Don't, don't touch me. Don't even breathe on me. I'm going to sue the fuck out of you. I know Matt. Oh, I know Matt. I know Matt. <laughs> Um, okay. Personally, so so we all saw the clip. Like I said, um, apparently this young lady wanted to get a picture of the baby as he was even at the club, and she put her phone really close in his face, and I guess it, you know, it hit him in his eye, and his reflex 
um, I guess caused him to, you know, pull back and 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 hook off her and hit her in the face. So it was very hard to watch just because she was a woman. If she was a man, excuse me, if, if it was a man that was actually hit, I don't think it would have been such a big deal. <laughs> Turn the flash on. Hit me, so hit me, bitch. Hit me, bitch. Flash hit me. Flash hit me. <laughs> Can we keep up? <laughs> hit me. I can't wait to see the fuck at you. <laughs> I know somebody bait me. Cause they know how I get down, but baby, oh. it ain't gonna happen, honey. They try. They, they try. I, I ain't falling for that shit, honey. Um. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so, so basically, she's filing a lawsuit. Do you guys think that she has grounds for that, or do you think that this is something that she should just accept an apology for? Two strong thumbs up. I think at the if if he would have gotten to her that night or the morning after, she wouldn't have sued him. But after it went viral, everyone's opinions, everyone calling her Tyronisha, girl, you better come up. Period. Then now there's a lawsuit. Period. Cool. They were saying all that shit to her. No, She's from Tampa, so yeah. No, look, give it, this is the thing. The thing is that when oh, you know what, guys. Y'all gonna might have to sign into the um app from another phone because my battery's getting low. I don't know if we'll be able to finish the topics. Now listen, what? he when he <laughs> went on when he went on, he had said, if anybody could let me know who she is, yeah. I'll give you ten thousand because I'm gonna sue her. Mm -hmm. I felt like he should have reached out with a different tone because you even should, him yeah. saying that, she's like, oh, you gonna sue me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, you gotta, you gotta, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know what to say. I understand that he's new, he's young, he's just getting into this whole thing. But he should have been like, listen. Don't call nobody. Whoever the female is that did this, because you know what a nigga you. is, a, you know, he kind of nice looking and he kind of talking to you, right? Listen, yeah. listen, I'm sorry, baby. Take I, this 10 grand. I, I, I agree with you. Concert, these season concert mm, tickets. It would have been more I, I agree with I you. you. But yeah. we have gotten rid of people like Chris Brown for the very same thing. Mm. And we have uh, treated Chris them Brown up. Is still around. We, we he is, him. but Chris yeah. Brown yeah. was on a double mint commercial and was poised to be yeah. our generation's Michael Jackson, if you were to ask yeah. me. He has to work 10 times as hard to get half of the recognition mm -hmm. as all of the people who are not even up to par with him because of that one incident. The baby has a pattern. And we have to nip this That's in the true. bud and let people know that we are not going for it. I tried to take up for the baby. Jonathan, you say, your girl called you Jonathan. Let me call you, let me call you like your mom. Oh, Jonathan Kirk, when you set up and you said that the reason why you manhandled that man because of your daughter, okay, I'll ride with you on that. You were trying to protect your child. When we have consistently seen you do the things that you do, you have an anger problem. Mm -hmm. Now, you have enough resources at this point to go and get your ass some help. If you can get on stage and go buy that jewelry and smile and do all that, that half ass apology meant nothing to me. And I, I think that the young lady, <laughs> when she saw that apology, felt like, well, you fuck him then. It. Because it was very half ass. It was. It was very, they told me to do it. And you don't feel it. And how will yeah. he learn if we don't, you know, Make them a tone what, if, what if it ain't Tyrone Nietzsche that it got hit? I, I got a question. Yeah, what what if? I want to say something. That's a good question. This is the third, like Millie said, this is the third time it was. we've seen him on camera. On camera. It was the it was the hotel employee yep. who he said he was with his daughter, who at the it wasn't justified. He came back mm -hmm. and beat his mm -hmm. ass. I mean, but look what happened to Pop Smoke. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Just say no, no, no. We're not going to bring up Pop Smoke, smoke recipe. Let's move on to so, the next topic. Because we got a little bit of time. None of these Pop Smoke. That's a very sensitive subject. The next topic is... Do the baby. Now, this is... This story is this the baby. Now, this is... This story... We, we wrote about on, um, on on site, and it was really interesting to me because as a public figure, I had no idea that it was a law that you had to tag and say that this is an ad when you are promoting something. I had no clue. To keep it super real with you, I actually found it weird that some of the the, the, the um, companies like Flat Tummy Tea and stuff, um, when when they have people say ad, I'm always like, why do you guys, in my head, this you know, is why an do you ad. guys have people like telling everyone that it's in the ad and they, they require that you do that. So I didn't know that that was something that you had to do, okay? So the T is the Federal Trade Commission warned not only Jordan Sparks, but Cardi B and a bunch of other celebrities um, about having undisclosed Instagram ads. So basically um, they're in trouble with the FTC because they feel like it's misleading to post Instagram posts featuring uh, this particular company is Timmy Blends. 
T-E-A-M-I, Timmy Blends. Um, several consumers have been misled by their products as a result of Cardi B, Jordan Sparks, and the rest of the gang, um, and they hit them with a warning. Mm -hmm. So this was a warning for me as well, because I was like, if I'm doing a, a promotional thing, I would absolutely say, hey, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not getting sued for this. Right. You want me to, you want me to dirty wine in this, in this, in this belly shirt? I'm writing ad. <laughs> I'm writing ad. I don't want to be contacted. Bomba clot. Yeah, no, I don't want no smoke with them. Anything that started with an F, FBI, Fed. I don't want no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want no problem. You don't want no problem. <laughs> no, we got it now. That bomba clot. We don't Go want suck it. your mama. We don't want it. Yeah. We don't want it. Yeah, I got it. That's so crazy. So that's yep, I got it. That's something that I found to be really interesting. And I wanted to talk about it today just because I feel like, you know, it's something that we can let our people know. Influencers, celebrities, we did not know. We will now make sure we hashtag ad and let y'all know when we promoting something, okay? Well, I don't promote nothing. I know, baby. I know. It's okay. Just for me. J U S C F O. <laughs> that was really the last topic of thank God. I'm so glad we got through that shit. This was so much fun. Absolutely. I was determined that we're gonna get through all these goddamn topics. I done flew all y'all motherfuckers out here to Miami. Oh, we gonna she talk said, about I some got shit. Out, y'all. <laughs> yes. I paid Richard, for my... Now you a damn lie. Richard, how was your flight? Bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bitch, I was on the wing. I I <laughs> Stop that. Did you have on your gloves and your mask? No, I didn't have no gloves, but the bitch before oh, me did. Have coronavirus. No, I ain't got no corona. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> I didn't know. We, we posted a story today. On, 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 no, actually, we posted a post. It was a funny meme. It was a spice. It was like me on my way still taking my trip because of the coronavirus. Flight prices are down. Hotel prices are down. Yes. It's, it's the time to travel. I came. I had my mask. I had Still gloves. Use hand sanitizer. And at the end of the day, if you're not scared of catching the flu, you shouldn't be. It's like right. have a strong immune system. And what's even crazier is all of you that are having unprotected mm -hmm. sex and don't mm -hmm. have any problem. And y'all in here are doing it. So y'all can open your eyes up real wide. I see y'all looking at each other. That's different. That's different. No, that's not. <laughs> it feels different, y'all. <laughs> it feels different. <laughs> it feels different. I'm not feeling like unprotected sex. Y'all fucking ain't got it. You done did it. And y'all don't have no, y'all not putting on no damn latex gloves for that. And Didn't you have swan flu? No, I did not. <laughs> did you? I don't even get colds, honey. They got You're MRSA healthy. in the Bronx. They got MRSA? What? That's in the water. I don't MSR there. 13 or something like that. Like, what is that, a car? It's like a, like a disease. Oh, what? You got well, in the girl, Bronx. Listen, move. not in the Bronx, though. I wore my, my mask for half my ride, and then I, and I ended up taking it off. But I it is important off. to not touch. They say the biggest thing is that you can come in contact with something. Don't touch, mm -hmm. don't touch it and then touch your face because then that's open areas. And yes. you can transfer it. So wash your hands repeatedly. Carry hand sanitizer, hand sanitizers. To me, I'd rather just wash my hands. Like, right. I'd rather just go, just wash my hands, and that's just what it is. I want to thank y'all yeah. so very much, yeah, everybody. Jerosalyn, thank you for being here. I want to say thank you to our writers really quickly yes. we have a really strong team and we really appreciate and love you guys i said it yesterday on my live and i want to say it again i want to say um thank you and you're amazing to jerosalyn you're amazing jakira as our video editor mm -hmm. our writers carmen emmanuel okay. andrea alicia stacy <laughs> there's somebody alicia Yes, shout out to you guys. We love y'all and we appreciate you guys on site. It's really just getting started. Tell everybody that you know mm. to follow. We have a lot of shit coming up. Um, don't count us out. Keep tuning Absolutely in. Not. And we'll see you guys next week. Okay, love, peace, and soul. Real mothers don't twerk. She a nurse.